Okay, so here's a, a, a plant that I absolutely hate, and I tend to call this an invasive species because that's what I consider it. It's not classified or registered as an invasive species, but to me it is. And I hate this plant. It spreads itself all over the place, and it's awful. It takes up and kills off everything else, including grass. So let's see if we can pull one of these up. Very hard to get these out. You can see the leaf over here, the pattern of the leaf. Here's a better one. I know the name of the plant. I'm going to tell you in a second. Hold on. There's a gorgeous... There's a gorgeous shot of what it is. Get over here. Here's what you call the sheep sorrel. And it's in the sorrel family of plants. Though it looks more like a spinach or a chard or something of that nature. This is in the sorrel family. And it is a t invasive species to me, though it's not registered as an invasive species. It's just a co common garden weed, and this plant can really spread itself out pretty bad, pretty much like some of the other plants I've, I'm doing a series on. And this one is just straight up nasty. If you see it, you might want to cut it out or start getting rid of it because once this thing starts it is hard to get rid of this one this can be as bad as the violets okay this one really can spread hard and heavy so i'm on this thing every year all year long pulling these out mowing them down and i can't get rid of them they just keep coming back but if i didn't do anything to it they would take over the yard so i just try to control it so again this is the sheep sorrel let me show you what it looks like when it goes into bloom this is this is what the bloom looks like. These are the flowers. It's not very attractive at all. It's just a little seed. Almost grows like a wild green, sort of like uh, sorghum or say millet or maybe um, uh, what's that called? Kiona. They grow like these. They grow kind of like that. That's how that would grow. But this is very thin. That's what this plant. That's how this plant grows. That's the seeds on it. It's not an attractive plant at all. Let me try to pull up a, a full plant so you can see the entire profile. It also makes runners. Keep in mind that this thing likes to make runners and they spread like crazy. But here's pretty much a full plant profile. It's just a real thin, it's not a good example of one. They do make a rose. They're growing real thin here because there's so many of them. Here we go. <sighs> So, this is kind of what it, the way it looks, the way it goes. That's its full profile. Anyway, this is what they look like. Here's the root that goes down. Um, generally, they're not that hard to pull out, but in harder soils, you aren't going to get this whole root out. And, you know, here's what it looks like as we go up to the top. And that's the seed pods. And it's just an awful plant to have. I don't even want to shake this thing around in the garden. It'll come up like crazy in the garden. And like I say, it's a real pain in the neck to try to get rid of this stuff. All right, so that's a quick look at your sheep sorrel. If you see it, start getting it under control now so you don't have uh, problems with it. One of the ways to help control is to make sure your lawn is cut really short and make sure you weed whack around the edges of your yard so they don't come up and start forming the seed pods. If you cut the tops off before they make seed pods, then you're at least controlling it a little. Even though it's gonna form rhizomes, it's not gonna spread twice as hard, all right? So keep your eye on it. If you see sheep sorrel, pull it out. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.